Okay, so hey guys, this is just a short video to show you how to do the lighthouse loop out of bounds glitch on uh, the game Joyride Turbo. Um, this works on any uh, HP, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you now. So what you wanna gonna what you wanna do is you wanna drive around the track as normal, uh, and once you beat the light lighthouse loop section. You want to go around the loop and onto the uh, booster tracks sort of thing um, towards the finish line and just after you want to slow down uh, turn around uh, like that and go right to the cliff face and you want to slowly drive down onto on the cliff and um, uh, don't go, you don't need to go too fast, um, you just um, um, slowly glide, uh, fall down, uh, occasionally uh, tap in the brakes so you don't fall off when you reach the bottom. And you want to reach that this sort of pla plateau of rocks here, these large boulder type things. Um, and once you reach there, you want to turn facing that direction uh, and you want to go onto that fourth type of rock there and start driving up this um, this part of the cliff now and once you're up there you want to aim for this tree here uh, now this tree is where you're gonna be where you will be roughly once you climb up the cliff face so you want so just aim for that tree and sort of drive over this ridge here so you don't drive on this vertical polygon here because you'll fall down if you do that. So you want to drive across, it's kind of hard to see but it's kind of a cliff, kind of a, a ridge there. Um, you want to drive across that still aiming for that that palm tree and if you, if you slow down too much and you're starting to fall down you can boost if you need to. Um, if you ha if you have to, but yeah, keep aiming for that tree, and once you reach this, just drive, and there you go. You're on, you're on this grassy section outside of the track, and from there you can uh, have a have a uh, a boosted start, but uh, start further up the track than you usually would normally if you just cross the finish line normally. Now, when you're driving, I'm going quite fast here. You don't need to do that. Um, but what you want to gonna want to do is want to stay on these this grass here, on and go onto this um, pa path path pavement sort of uh, bricky area, uh, and stay on that um, and avoid these uh, peach col peachy coloured orange um, rock type uh, things here. Because they are not solid, and you will fall through them, and um, that, and you'll fail the glitch if you do that. Uh, so try try not to fall down there. Uh, and you can drive through these buildings; they're not solid or anything. But just stay on this paved sort of thing, this paved sort of surface, and take this sort of route, avoiding the fence. Because if you go too near the fence, the lap will start. It will think you're on the track, and start the lap before you'd want to and um, if you keep this path here um, avoiding the fence near near these sort of things and what you want to gonna do here is want to go through this hill sort of thing uh, through this wall which isn't solid but don't go too fast or else you'll fall off as you'll see but just go through there be careful because you don't want to fall off there because it'll start, uh, you'll fall off and you'll spawn on the track. And, um, yeah, and I'll go through one more video. Um, this video here. Uh, this is just going to deal with strategy based off, um, how you, uh, how you want your lap times, basically. Um, so just skip ahead. Okay, here we go. So, let's 
So yeah. Once you're in this area, there's two different things you can do. You can either, if you want um, consistent laps, like if you don't want to keep fa like failing to do the glitch multiple times in a row, you can drive off this section here. You might not get the best start of the lap, um, but it'll be a lot more consistent. Um, a lot more consistent uh, laps, so you'll have more attempts, basically. Um, like I, so you want to, if you have enough boost, you want to boost off this area here and fall as far as you can. Um, fall, fall as far as you can. I'll show in another video, um, and then press the respawn button, or I think it's the, um, the back button on Xbox 360, or the two squares button on Xbox One, I, I, I can't remember what that's called, but, um, yeah, that, that's the respawn button, if you, uh, didn't know, or if you want the fastest lap times, this is what I do. I usually boost off this section here. Um, it's closer to the track. Um, and you get the best start, I think. I, I'm not sure. I don't know the trick. I don't know the trick fully. But if you're boosting off this section here, don't fall for too long or else the trick will fail. You'll spawn too far along the track. And the game will recognise that you haven't crossed the finish line to start a new lap. Um, i show you in a second. So, uh, yeah, this section here. So, I'll just... So, I think I... Uh, yeah, here we go. So, I'm just going to... I'll just show you here how you want to boost off the track. So, uh, here we go. So you want to boost off like that. If you this is if you want the best lap times and roughly about there, um, it didn't start a new lap because I had already went too close to the fence, so it had already started a new lap. But roughly about that. That's how long you want to drop for. Um, if you want the fast the the best starts of your laps. So roughly about that long. Um. Um, I don't know how long it is. I usually just guess based off memory. Um, but I'll show you some of my earlier lap times. Uh, I think this is the one. It, I'll show you, this is if you want consistent lap times rather than, um, inconsistent but faster lap times. So, you'll still get really good times based off, um, if you fall off that part, but you won't get the best starts. Um, I think this is the wrong video. I'm not sure. Um, might be. I'll just go on my YouTube channel. Let's go on my channel. Uh, so yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, and this one, I think. No. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Might be, might be this one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Oh, maybe not. I can't find the right video. Um. Yeah, this is this is the one. Okay, here we go. I think. I hope. Yeah. So you want to boost off. Where if you want consistent lap times, as get, um, you want to boost and drive off that part of the track. And see, that fall as far as you can, there you go. It's not, as you can see, it's not the best start, because uh, you spawn further a lot further back than if you fall from the other part of the track, like I showed before. So in my 26.024, on 300 HP, you can see that if I 
go off this part. For a, there you go. For a short amount of time, uh, it gives the best start, basically. Um, so that's really only for... Um, that's for if you want really fast times. Um, but it's harder to time when to respawn, effectively. Um, and if you're like if you're like me, who um, messes it up all the time, um, you might be having a lot of failed starts, so it doesn't start the lap again. So you'd have to do the out of bounds glitch again and start again. Um, but yeah, that's how to um, that's how to do the trick and some strategies on how you want to do your laps, basically. So, yep, that's just this video, and see you later.